Are you wasting more time wrestling with AI tools than actually writing? Well, you're not alone. I mean, seriously, a recent study actually shows that professionals lose up to seven hours every single week just switching between apps while writing. That's practically a full workday down the drain. Now, what if I told you that there's actually a fix that combines document editing, AI help, and chat all in one smooth experience? One that might make your writing three times faster while keeping your real voice. In the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna show you how Type AI is changing document creation for busy professionals. Thank you to Type AI for sponsoring this video. It's not only for professionals, it's also for consultants, content creators, and anyone who's had enough of copying and pasting all day. In this video, you're gonna find out about a writing system that saves you hours every week and makes your writing better than what regular grammar checkers can actually do. And honestly, the rest of the AI tools out there are gonna struggle in comparison. So this isn't just another tool, it's really crazy because it combines three core principles that I think are really important. It helps you write faster, write better, and write in your own voice. So stay with me, I'll show you how to stop the frustration of tab switching, boosting your document quality, and making AI write just like you, all in one complete guide that'll change your content creation forever. So first, let's just go to type AI. As you can see here, it's the writing assistant for professionals, and it's so easy to get writing quickly. So all I have to do is go into a new doc right here. I just literally had to click into this section or press new doc. And what you'll see is on the right-hand side, there's a type chat that essentially works like your normal chatbot. There's also a content idea section where you can start writing and type will show suggestions on what to write about next year. And there are some custom instructions that you can interact with over here. So let's just get started. Uh, for example, writing a script about three ways that I save time via daily planning and time blocking. So over here on the right-hand side, I'm gonna say, I want to write a video script about how to save time daily planning slash using time blocking methods. And you'll notice I could add a file attachment here. And when I press enter, it's gonna start thinking. FYI, on the top hand side over here, you do have the ability to adjust a couple things. You can change the preferred model between Claude and ChatGPT, and you can import different files, URLs, stuff like that at the top here. So as you can see, it did write out a pretty solid script to start, which is awesome. Now, what I wanna do is if you take a look over here, it says apply changes using AI, insert text at cursor or replace section, and then you can also copy it. So let's copy this over here and just paste it out. Now what I wanna do is I wanna press import document and I'm gonna go from URL and I'm gonna Google and do some research on what necessarily is a good source for why time blocking works. So just doing some research for myself. I'm somebody who has focus problems. So why does it work for ADHD? Neurodivergentinsights.com. Perfect. So between that, let's just paste this out, press import. Awesome, so I have this here. Awesome, so let me find from Timo. Let's go back in here. And what you can do is you can actually press import from a file and it'll actually open it up as a new document. So this is a really nice thing for me is that it's a nice starting point and a basis that I could have done at the beginning as well. And this is really cool because what it can do on the right-hand side is I can write something new based off of it. Or as you can see, it says content ideas, add a section on how to use digital tools like Timo, specifically for time blocking. So looking at this can give me some insight as well. Like I can say, can you extract the most interesting parts of this would make for good insights for a script on benefits of time blocking and daily planning. What's your target audience? Uh, productivity enthusiasts, for sure. That's what you guys are. Eh, brief talking points, just like a few bullet points to throw in as cool info. Awesome, really cool. So what I can do is I can copy this, right? And then let's go to the other doc. By the way, this is a really snappy tool. Like I press it, I'm there. So let's say, can you find natural places to add this info into the script, please? So it's creating a revised version, very awesome. And by the way, look at this. I can grab it and drag it over. So if I want to, I could literally like delete all these. As you can see, all these have little blocks similar to other Markdown products. Let's copy this. Or I can drag it and drop it, which I think is really cool. And I haven't seen something work like that so quickly and effectively. Take a look at this. I'm curious where it says the visibility. So if I go here, as you can see, one of the most powerful benefits is visibility. Cool, it added it in there. And on the right-hand side now, 
It's given me a bunch of ideas, so add a section on digital tools. I like that a lot. So I want you to write that for me if you could, and you'll see it'll add it right to where my cursor was. So I actually think I'm gonna add that probably somewhere else, or what I could do <laughs> is grab it and drag it down to a spot that makes more sense for me and then drop it on the bottom. Now, I like the fact that on the side over here, you can change the block type very easily. It's got a nice little drag feel and adjustment, very easy. You can add dividers between sections, very nice. And this is just a cool product because unlike other ones, it gets you suggestions on what's going on while you're interacting with the document, which is really cool. And this really helps you write better and gives you better results. This is a problem that really does come up a lot in time blocking, so I wanna point this out. Let's add it here. I want to definitely add a section on how to handle emergencies that completely derail it because that is very, very common when people are like, oh, but I, I want a time block, but it's so hard. So as you can see, this is fast and better. Step five, life happens. Look at that, it fit in a step too. It didn't even just make like a header. It added a subheader for step five on the how to start time blocking. Very awesome. Even the best time blocking system will face unexpected emergencies. Build in buffer blocks, 30 to 60 minute periods that can absorb overflow emergencies. That is so true. You definitely have to do that. Totally agree. And if you'll notice, speaking of sections and headers, at the top you can type in a command sequence using different things. Like there's these shortcuts here. So like <laughs> literally command period. I can write a sentence, command colon. A lot of really good options here. I can generate content right there, generate paragraph, write list, continue writing. And another way that you can actually write quicker with this tool is you can create new prompts and add prompt text within this so that in the future, if you wanted to quickly utilize those prompts, you can just click here and add to the prompt list. So for example, uh, expand on this section, expand on this section of the text. So I can just press this, press expand on this section. So it's gonna expand on the digital tools section. So it's gonna expand on this more. Common time blocking mistakes to avoid. That's fair. I would definitely wanna add that to the script. And now let's take a really quick look at how to write more like yourself. Now let's talk about how to improve your writing a little bit. When we talk about writing better, we wanna enhance the structure and formatting if possible. So what this is gonna do is it's going to essentially serve as Grammarly and all those different tools to make it better. So you can press accept all exit reviews or just pressing enter. And this is gonna make it better on a formatting standpoint. Because at the end of the day, to me, I do think AI can be a little bit rough on the formatting side and can seem a little bit on human. There's also a fix errors option, as you saw I just clicked, which can fix any of the grammar issues that it finds. Nice, very cool. Let's see what else it's got. Okay, remove fluff and simplify lengthy sentences. This is a common thing that happens with AI writing that can be improved as well. Oh, look at that, that's awesome. I can click inside of it as well, I really like that. That is one of the most overused words at language. I learned that a long time ago and it's found that actually definitely something to avoid and involve as the habits, yeah, unnecessary. Wow, this found a lot of extra stuff here. And if you want, you can cut it all out by pressing accept all and then boom, removed instantly. So we got ideas, we got improvements, we got structure, so many cool things. Ooh, cliches, I like that a lot. AI has a lot of cliches in there, so let's get rid of that. Let's see what ones it finds. Time blocking, yep. If I press accept, it changes to, to means. Day intentionally. Design your day intentionally, nice, nice, nice. I really like this, this is so convenient. Okay, so there's a lot to digest here, but you can absolutely improve it at any point or go back. And then what I really think is important is if I want to, I can actually improve it by adding the style of my writing. So I'm gonna give it a sample. So I can attach a file or grab an article URL or another, or another type document. Like earlier, I copied and pasted and went back and forth. I could have just clicked inside of here and done this. I wanted to just show you there's multiple ways to interact with this tool. I wanted to show you more than one document, but I totally could have just grabbed and utilized another type document, or I could have gone into that article so let's find a writing style. Like, so I like Alex Hermosi's writing a lot. Let's see if there's a blog or something. Let's see what it says. I like this. I like this, I like this. You won't find a unicorn. Let's go article URL. Can you adjust the writing style to sound more like this blog, please? Wait for it to stop loading, you're good. All right. 
So now what it's gonna do is it's gonna analyze it and improve it. Ooh, now it added this. So what I can do, as you can see, it made shorter, more direct sentences. Definitely a Hermosi thing. More conversational, simplified language. Pro tip from him, he actually writes in fifth grade terminology as the tip. So I'm just gonna delete this. Press paste. Now, by the way, I could always press backslash and get going. Same thing with that terminal that I was showing. Makes it really easy to write out. Paste that out, boom. Let me read some of the script. Feel like there aren't enough hours in the day, constantly putting out fires instead of making progress, you're not alone. Time blocking means scheduling blocks of time, tasks or work categories, not just meetings. Very good. I think that's solid. I think the writing on this is pretty dang good. It's a snappy experience. It's an effective experience. I can pick between so many different options. It almost feels like a souped up Notion AI. And for me, using this product, it's been really fun and interesting. And you can actually try it out too without having to do anything payment wise. You can try for 14 days for free. So make sure to click my link down below and check it out in order to write faster, better, and more like you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again to Type AI for sponsoring it. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.